Well, what started as a who's with me idea has turned into four national championships, numerous Mountain West titles, and a new and modern way for talented students to earn scholarships at Boise State University. And if you've never seen where the BSU eSports team calls their home field, then you're missing out on a world-class facility. The video you're currently seeing is from 2018, the first time I met with members of Boise State's eSports team. Back then, not only was the program just barely a year old, but they practiced and played their games out of a small area in a building on campus. That is, up until about three and a half years ago. It was wonderful to have a footprint where we could set up a stage and, and have our broadcasting facilities. Now, we've now been able to, um, to get this whole 7,000 square foot uh, footprint here on the corner of the busiest intersection in Idaho. If you haven't been in it, you've probably driven past it. Right on the corner of Capitol and Front Street houses BSU Esports World Class Headquarters, where they practice, compete, and dominate. But it wasn't move in ready. In the last three years, we've converted this space into much more of what we need to both recruit well, uh, to host big events, because that's also part of recruiting and uh, part of the, uh, the way that we make sure the program is funded well. And before you try to imagine what this enormous facility might look like, Coach Haskell was kind enough to give me the full tour, starting with an area I know all too well. So this is our studio set. Right now it's set up for a, a you know, 1v1 competition in Smash because we just did the state tournament. But this will, with um, trussing and lighting and, and backdrops, change into an ESPN-style studio, which we intend to have ready for fall. We've got a number of different things we want to do, including just kind of your sports center of, of college esports. Did I mention they certainly know how to win? We joke all the time about our uh, completely subpar trophy case. Um, <laughs> we, we've had a, we've had a, a success problem, um, which is a great problem to have. No one, no one would trade it for anything. But uh, we've won 11 do, conference titles. We've see, been see uh, collegiate um, program of the year. We have countless individual the best, best award awards, best uh, shoutcaster, like best broadcaster, like best broadcast like team, AJ multiple Jimmy, years. Like and uh, at some point, we're going to have to build something out because my wife wants her bookcase back. <laughs> going to take down the immortality. It is just the supports at Sigma forced to retreat in the opposite direction. But you don't need a place for trophies if you can't practice. They've got that covered. We practice in this space. Uh, our clubs, Boise State clubs, come in and play and compete in this space. We host a lot of community events and high school events and regional events. This is the really the, the tournament operations center. We stroll past their Bronco eSports Wall of Fame and their state-of-the-art broadcast control room and eventually end up on the virtual blue turf. From the battleground training facility back there to the practice area here, the broadcast booth here, it all leads to what players call the heart and soul of the whole operation. This is the BSU Esports Arena. A massive viewing area that seats around 100 people with a full broadcast set for play-by-play -play announcers to stream for those watching elsewhere. The entire facility has been a dream seven years in the making. Esports was about to explode and that there was a, a once-in-a-lifetime kind of gold rush opportunity. If we were going to be the Alabama of esports, we had to go all in. I carried that message uh, all the way through the ranks to the president's office, Custra at the time, and Dr. Custra said, yeah, let's, let's do this exactly. And uh, we've been off and running ever since. And the Boise State eSports team continues to be one of the winningest programs in all of college sports. And having that world-class facility is just a part of who they are. I'll be putting together more stories on their team in the near future. But for now, you can find more information on them in this story on our website, IdahoNews6.com.